Don't lynch me just yet. I'm about to explain to you why I think Junk Free June and Dry July doesn't really do you any good unless you approach it with the correct mindset. I'm not one that's against giving for charity. In fact, I'm all for giving back to the community. However, you gotta realize how Junk Free June and Dry July work in regards to your reward mechanism. So, we do everything, whether it's eating, exercise, sex, partying, whatever, based on how our brain rewards us. So both of these things are for a one month period. So you know they're gonna end. This is already bad to begin with, but hear me out. At the end, everyone I've spoken to has some grand plan for how they're breaking this dietary restriction. So the motivation to abstain through this entire 30 day process is based on the fact that you know there is a reward you're placing for yourself. Whether it's, I am gonna go get absolutely slaughtered with the boys, I am gonna go drink a glass of wine, I am gonna go buy a Macca's family feast and just eat it by myself. As you can see, that is not going to translate into a long-lasting habit. So that's the first thing. It hijacks your reward system because you know there is an end to it in which you are going to overindulge and over-reward yourself for what you've interpreted as hard work and that is your payoff. Rather than the payoff being the fact that you're getting healthy. Number two, there's a charitable aspect to this. You're raising money to give to a good cause. I'm not against that at all. Good on you. However, again, there's a reward system being hijacked. You hand this money over, you feel great about what you've done, you've helped out a good cause, treat yourself. Then, number three, you get on the scales. Boom, you're down a couple kilos. You're looking great, you're not retaining water. A little bit of that flab is gone because you've introduced very healthy eating habits into your life. Again, treat yourself, look how well you've done. So there is your reward mechanism in your brain being hijacked three times by something that only lasts for 30 days. And what do we know about 30 days? 30 days is not enough time to create a sustainable habit. You really need about 90 days. And that's where all crash diets, which is essentially what Junk Free June and Dry July are, fail time and time again. When you, once you've failed, you just go back to the way you're eating because once you've binged, it's hard to undo the craving you've just recreated once again and you end up putting the weight back on, you end up feeling shit once again and that's no good. So, if you are going to be doing Junk Free June or Dry July, you need to take some precautions and approach it with this mind state instead. Number one, do not plan for anything immediately once the period has ended. I commend you for getting that far. Number two, start taking note through the entire process, whether it's day by day, whether it's week by week. And I don't just mean mentally taking note, I mean actually write a goddamn note. See how your energy levels are doing, your concentration, your ability to wake up, your general cardio fitness, everything that starts becoming right once you start eating and treating your nutrition with respect, write it down. You see, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take that reward system and apply it for something that we can do for the rest of our lives. And that is taking notes on how abstaining from these things make us feel and using that to get A, through the first 30 days and B, reflect back on it and carry on through the rest of your life. So at the end of the day, remember, Junk Free June, Dry July, these are just crash diets, and everyone knows crash diets don't necessarily work. I love the charitable aspect behind them, and I also love what they're trying to endorse, but I also think they're just kind of missing the mark. So, if you're embarking on this, or if you have just been through Junk Free June, and you're thinking of doing Dry July, 
Use this as a starting point, but make sure that there isn't an end. Don't think of it as a 30 day thing. Remove the word June and remove the word July out of it and just think lifestyle change. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you think that I'm completely wrong, feel free to comment. Let's have a discussion. Also follow me on Instagram at DamienLifts. I hope this all made sense and wasn't too rambly. Have a good day guys. Peace.